Pig farming is widely practiced in all regions of Uganda with high concentrations around the central region. Unlike other key agricultural enterprises, over the last three decades, pig farming has experienced fundamental improvement in the number of both pigs reared and households that rear at least one pig. Here in Kenganda, we have podcasts dedicated to pig farming featuring Mr. Chris Mulindwa. On today's episode, Chris took us to a pig farm in Zerobe Vumba to see how an actual pig farm is run practically. Good afternoon to you. Hi dear, how Hi. are you? I'm okay, how are you? Um, can you introduce yourself to our viewers? Okay. Yeah. My name is Alice Chekoti. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a farmer. Yeah, farming. Farming in what? I am a pig farmer. Okay. I do other things as well. I'm a flower farmer as well. But today, I think we shall be concentrating on the, <laughs> on the pigs. pigs. <laughs> That's what brought us here today. Exactly. The pigs brought us here. Mm. Um, I think someone can understand from your accent that you're not from around. Where are you from? Uh, born and bred in Zimbabwe. Okay. Brought to Uganda by marriage. Okay. 1997. Wow. December. Yeah. That's when I came to this country. Yeah. Yes. And so I've been here 23 years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Mm. And when did you start building your beautiful farm? When did you start <laughs> working on it? Uh, 20, uh, 20, 20, That's last year. Or 2019. 2019 August. This place was bush. Okay. Then we started putting the fence, putting the structure. Yes. But uh, our first pigs only arrived in uh, 2020 in uh, May. Yes. That was May. Yes. Yeah. And what capital did you use to start with? Because we know the buying land, the equipment, the, the pigs, the stock. If you sum it up, let's do an estimate. What did you say? Just start an with? estimate because at the moment the accounts are not yet done. I'm not even too sure. Yes. But I think maybe around 400 million. Wow. Yes. I think that doesn't even include the, the land. Wow. Yeah. The land was. Did you have the land already or you had yes. to buy it? Yes. With this land, we bought it like six years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you decided to farm instead of it being idle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, farming is in my. I've always loved farming. Wow. I knew that in the end, I would be. I'll be a farmer. Yes. I have worked in banks. I'm a lawyer by profession. Wow. But I've worked in banks for years. But I always knew that I would have to. I would have to farm. Yeah. 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 So okay. that's how it all came about. Okay. We, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And when you talk about your pigs, you you sound passionate about your pigs. <laughs> <laughs> What's so special about these pigs that we're going to be seeing? Um, first of all, it is an investment. Yes. It is my money, mm. my husband and my money. We yeah. are so we have to protect it because it's an investment. Yeah. Then secondly, it is a passion. Farming is a passion. Then thirdly, pigs are fun. Really? By the way, pigs are very interesting. Animals, they are so much like us, yes. you will discover. Yes. The babies are so intelligent, the mothers are so intelligent. They are just so much like human beings. Yeah. They are very, very interesting animals. Okay. Yeah. And what challenges have you faced with your pigs that you love so much? Oh, it has been, for me, it has been a learning journey because um, at first I didn't really know anything. Yes. I just plunged in it. I did read a book by a, an author called Chris Mulindwa. Okay. And uh, I just thought probably this is something I can do. But yeah. you know, me, I'm somebody who doesn't think too much. Yeah. Uh, market research, what, what, this and that. I just plunge in things and just go with it. Yes. So um, I've had so many, you know, so many falls, should I say? Failures. Up failures. Yeah. You fall, you will get up, you fall, you get True. up. Because you, you, you put in so much and you think that you make it, but yeah. sometimes it's not that easy. Yes. Because like, for example, the pigs, I have the best pigs, I think, around. Yeah. I got my pigs from a very well-known breeder. Okay. But uh, I had a lot of uh, learning to do because yeah. I didn't know how to actually take care of these the piglets. Yeah. So the first time I had my piglets, my pigs were farrowing 23, 22, 21. And by farrowing, what do you mean? Farrowing means uh, they were giving birth, okay. like the way we say give birth. Okay. So they were farrowing huge litters and I just, I was overwhelmed because they, they, would, they all farrowed within the space of like two weeks. Wow. And then uh, they started, the piglets started dying one by one. It's like each piglet what? dies, takes a, pig, a little piece of me. Oh. 
<laughs> it was bad. very painful. Yes. And I thought, oh, maybe I will uh, later on, I will uh, learn. Yeah. Then I, second, I got the second liter. It is better, but it's still, there's still a lot of learning mm. to do. Yeah. So there's all that, and then you know about disease. Yeah. I'm always scared about the African swine fever. Yes, which is we saw the way you sanitized us when it got in. Absolutely. You see, what happens with that disease, if it gets your farm within two days, you'll be back to zero. Yes. It kills. So if you don't really take a lot of precaution in this, it will wipe out everything. True. Exactly. And also money. Yeah. The challenge is money. I want to do like proper things, but mm. you can only do proper things if you have money. You must True. invest. Yes. Yeah. And then the other challenge is uh, some of the people that want to buy my pigs mm. uh, to breed, they don't know how much I've put in. So a number mm. of them want to buy cheaply. Yes. Uh, but I'm not willing to give it up to give it a very low price because I know the worth of what I have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are your future prospects? Okay, with the pigs, we know that it is a something because we have put in so much, yes. so it has to work either True. way. So we are going to, we, we, we see that in the future, our pig farm is going to be big. Actually, we have, me and my co-director, yeah. we have uh, this dream of taking it to like a thousand, two thousand pigs wow. and having our own processing plant. We have already started working on the oh. processing plant. Yes, we are all going to be slaughtering pigs ourselves, so okay. we shall be in a position to... We will prosper from it, yeah. definitely. I hope you do that. We will. <laughs> I can't wait to see the big things that you do. Yes, yeah. Um, in case we have a viewer out there who wants to maybe start piggery, what okay. would be your advice to them as um, an experienced... I think family? just to start from anyway. For us, we, we really put in a lot of money. I don't know how to do it cheaper but yeah. i guess some people just get like a saw and then maybe a pregnant saw and then you start from there but you have to make sure that you are ready to feed True. because feed is very 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 expensive yeah because you see it's also glamorous you see on tv people look like they're doing well they don't tell you what is behind the scenes mm. behind the scenes like for us in our farm we spend probably a million every week on feeds. what oh yes on feeds only yes on feeds so if you are you don't have like a proper backup plan mm. because the all, you only start earning after like six months like yeah. for us now we are at the stage where we are selling our pigs mm. and we are slaughtering mm. that's when you start earning but remember the six months you are not earning you are not earning anything so if you don't have uh, proper money enough money yeah. to take you through the six months yeah. ah you will farming is very a, difficult is a continuous investment you have, to keep, you have to keep on putting money but those th six months yeah. are very very important, important. yes yeah oh, okay yeah. okay thank you so much um where can our viewers find you in the social media in case they want to buy from you okay um they can get us at uh, my our instagram page is a yeah. uh, it's A L S yeah. F L O R A. Yeah, we're going to put it on the screen. Ars I think they'll Flora. be able to see it. <laughs> yes, you yes. can go Ars Flora Farm. Small. Yeah. I think they will put it yeah. Ars Flora Farm. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that is where they will yeah. get can us. They if they want to learn more about oh, the okay. pigs. Yes. Can they contact you on your mobile number? Yes, 07 yes. quadruple 8. That yeah. is 8888 <laughs> Thirty-two. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's look at the pigs. Sure. That you yeah, are yeah, so yeah. wise. You're most welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So this is the, the, this is the mom. Yeah. This is the mother. Yeah. She's having the the smallest babies right now because we have to breast. We have what to do you mean the smallest? Them. They are the weakest. She is oh. furrowed like 21 babies. Okay. So she has to stay with this so that these ones can suckle any time. The stronger ones are this side. Okay. This yeah. So oh, I can see the size difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's her name? She's called Cleo. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and then, then we have these ones are ready for slaughter. You've dropped a glass. Yeah. They're these ready are for big. slaughter. They are like 115, 120 they were kilograms. Lit, piglets and then now they're yeah, 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 yeah. You fattened them. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And this one, she's called Fortunate. Oh, Fortunate. She's having 17 babies. You can see the babies drinking there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Those are also the weak ones, so we separated. They, they find it hard to find the, the, the boobs. No, the no, 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 they're stimulating the, the breasts oh, to come. So like the, the way our oh, babies hold the, the breast like this. The and milk to come uh, out. Yeah, exactly. They're stimulating it to come out. Oh. And the mother, when she's feeding, she, you hear that sound. Grr, grr, yeah. grr. 
it's also a way of encouraging them to, to drink. To drink, yeah. okay. I want you to see Max. Our oh. Max is our resident Baba. Oh, what does Baba mean? <laughs> our Max is our like our um, male, the can resident I touch? male. Yeah, you I can. Touch. This is Moriah. <laughs> she will eat you. <laughs> Moriah means no. She doesn't want to be touched. She doesn't want anything. She's our best mother anyway. I feel like so. I love her. Yeah. yeah. Moriah. She's yes. the best mother. She's the best, best mother. mother. She gives them the most milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she knows how to take babies. care of your babies. This is Mercy. Mercy. She's Same. pregnant. I think she should be following within like one month. How long does it take for them to give back? Like three months. Oh. Three months and three weeks. Yeah. This Look at how big that is. Yeah, she's she's big. And Masi. then these are our growers, they are ready to... What, what's a grower? Growers are like, they are, we are growing them for meat. Oh, yes. so you yeah. have specific for meat, for giving birth? Yes, exactly. We are going to pick like three, mm. so that they will be our, our mothers, okay. our next mothers, yeah. I want you to see, to check on Max. Max, where is Max? This is Max. He is our resident male. Where is Max? Hey, Max! <laughs> this is our resident male. Oh my god, it's the one that she pregnant Huge. everyone. I think he must be like a Oh my god, two, look two, at him. Two, two behind, or yes. Yeah. He's only pregnant the rest. Yes, he's the baba. So you, he's the father of all those babies. <laughs> so you bring them in here and then he does the yes, work. Yes, and he's ever ready. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> he's he's ready. ready. Look at his uh, look at that. Yeah, eh? that's those behind. are the assets. <laughs> But he's quite gentle, he's nice to really? eat ladies. Yeah. Oh, the stick wants to eat. yeah, these ones will eat you. So these ones very soon they will also be ready for, yeah. for slaughter or if people can pay good money, we can yeah. sell as breeding stock. How much do you sell one? Like one? Not less than a million shillings. Because yeah. you invest so much in them. Absolutely. Yeah. Not I wanted to ask, can you also cut the mother for meat? Ah, uh, it depends. Like the bad mother. The bad mothers definitely. We have a bad mother, one yeah. mother. There's a pig that's She's a bad mother. She's, uh, she's, she steps on your babies, she yeah. doesn't want to she doesn't give them milk. she doesn't have enough milk, she's just basically, she doesn't have maternal instinct. Oh, okay. So we can't keep here because she follows 21 and we only keep seven. I guess in the, the rest, she, somehow they die. She kills so them. there's no point, yeah, there's no point. That yeah. one will be headed for the slaughter. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. yeah. I can't. Now, in our next episode about pig farming, we will be checking out another farmer who has a different system that involves the use of sawdust instead of concrete floors. This system is known as IMO. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this exciting episode. I'm so excited. I don't know if you can feel the excitement in my voice, but I've never seen pigs this big, and I've never seen pigs like this like i've never seen pigs on such a large scam anyway i'm excited i hope you got excited too i hope you're ready to get into pig farming because that's why we do this episode or we do these episodes so that you can actually get interested in pig farming now make sure you give this video a thumbs up follow us on all our social media pages before you even do that if you've not yet subscribed please pause and subscribe because we do appreciate it when you do such okay so follow us on our social media pages that is kingana nation facebook kingana nation instagram i'm your host joanita till next time let me go have fun with some things okay mm -hmm.